Come on, Pete. Pay attention. Head in the bloody clouds again. That's your problem. Pick up the oars and row like I told you. They're faster than that, son. Come on, keep them both in time. Doing my best. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. And try and keep your weight in the middle, too. You don't want to tip us in. What a wonderful start of the holiday that would be. Do you want to help? No, this is a test of your listening, son. I'm trying to work things out for yourself. How would you learn if I did everything for you, eh? I didn't mean do it all, just take an oar, maybe. Well, say I did, and you could only work one oar. Then where would we be? We'd be going round in circles. <laughs> oh, now, look, there's a strong current coming up. It's a good test, son. Now, remember what I taught you, and this won't be a problem. I keep us straight and true. Strong arms. I said strong. No, 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 no! Trying. That side! Harder on the poor side! Help! Jesus, Pete, that one! God, you get back there, I'll do it. Oh. Oh. I knew you weren't made for this. Oh, maybe you're right. Go the rest of the way. Current's not as strong now. Oh, here you go. I have done my best, Pete. Whatever you do in life, you can't expect anyone to do things for you. My experience. I won't always be here to help. And there'll come a time when you've got to prove you can do something by yourself. Ahoy! Good roar, Captain Hamilton. Oh, get me away from this thing. It looks calm out there, but it, it's rougher than you think. Oh, it does look nice and calm, you're right. It's the current. Can't you see it? It's very nasty ripples. It's practically a storm surge. I think if the wind had been in another direction... Oh, come here. Don't you know me at all by now? Come on, let's walk. All right. Thank you. Well, I've got used to being this relaxed. <laughs> What's it going to be like getting back to college, having to smarten ourselves up? I really like you like this. It's nice. Remember when we met on that train and you were so self-conscious about that suit? Oh, I remember. Seems silly now, eh? You were wearing that lovely sweater you got on now, weren't you? Not this. Well, I only bought it recently. It's a new colour for me. My mistake. My memory must be playing tricks on me. Oh, how strange. So, do you want the good news? Absolutely. While you're out, I checked with the hotel and they said we could stay another night. And I thought, why not? Extend this holiday as long as we can. <laughs> Extend the celebration. Celebration? Oh, you know, um, the summer of work. The fact that it's practically all done now. and Perhaps we could celebrate us, too. Us? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Mr. Absolutely Hamilton. Oh, stop it. I don't say it like that. You do, then that's fine. Ready to go home soon? Not in the slightest. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> oh, look at these houses. Oh, if I had found someone I could row with, perhaps I could be living here. Hey, I can row. <laughs> well, that's good, because I think I might be in love. <laughs> oh? Me too. Oh, those two houses up on the cliff, look. Oh, which one should we have, the red or the blue? It's tricky. Why not both? Oh, go on, pick one. Um, okay. Blue. My choice, exactly. Oh, almost like I knew what you were going to say. Well, either house looks big enough for me. Maybe more than me one day. A dog? Why not? A little someone else to play with it, perhaps? What about your work? Wouldn't you want to finish that first? Well, finish work before I settle down, you mean? Yes. Yeah, I love my work. You know I do. I'm not going to finish it. I'm going to keep going as long as I can. I don't see why it has to be one or the other. Would you give up work to have children? I would. I really would. Mm, well, I think the thing is, I wouldn't expect a man to give it all up. Not if he really loved his work. So why does the rest of the world think that we should give it all up? I keep thinking about all these bright young women I'm teaching and I'm scared. I'm, I'm scared that despite all they've achieved, despite the fact that they're walking out into the world with a degree from Cambridge, the first thing they'll be asked is how fast can you type? Don't be so pessimistic. It's not pessimism, I see it. Even the jobs they get, they're not expected to keep once they've had children. All it needs is people to stand up to it. No, you're right. I think women have every right to state their claim. Not a woman this time. Women have been making a stand, throwing themselves under horses since the suffragettes. We need men to start fighting for it. You can count on me. I hope you do make a stand. Won't become part of all that. It's not easy, you know. A lot of people are still living in the dark ages about all this. Your professor, for one, I'll bet. I think you're probably right there. He doesn't know about any of this, does he? This? This this work? Exactly. The work we've done. You will tell him, won't you? Of course I will. I'll go straight to his office as soon as we're back. You promise me that? Promise you that? Good. This is good, isn't it? It is. Peter, marvellous to see you. Do come in. Take a seat. I have to say, I'm delighted. Oh, you read the final draft? Of course, all the salient points. I must say it's very impressive. You think so? Thank you. Not at all. It's your work. I think the direction you took it gave it something of real value. Well, as I say, quite apart from the climate side of things, the method you developed to track radiation, I can see it having far-reaching implications and not just in your own field. It's marvellous. I'm glad you think so. Yeah, first-rate piece of work, Peter. First-rate. 
Th this other name on here, Dr. Clara McKeary. I presume we can drop that. Drop it? Why would I do that? Oh, well, um, I understand you probably had some little research assistance, but uh, well, we all have secretaries. <laughs> we, we just don't usually put the name on the front cover of the paper. What are you suggesting? Tell me, have you seen your friend Joseph recently, Samuel? I have. Doing so well in their new positions. I would dearly love to see the same for you, Peter. And more for you, in fact. Well, thank you. You will be so well deserved after all these years, especially after the risk I took. Risk? A boy from a grammar school, first in his family to make it to university, you know what I'm saying. It's been really wonderful to give you this opportunity. I would just hate you to throw it away by misattributing your own hard work, that's all, for whatever reasons you might have. Throwing it away? What do you mean? I mean, there is a world of possibilities out there for you. Hmm. Well, as I say, it really is very good, and I'm not the only one who thinks so. You've given it to someone else already. I knew a few who I thought might be interested. I thought you'd be pleased. In fact, I think you might want to prepare yourself for being the center of attention for a little while. I'm sure you would be able to cope, but I think it's perhaps not quite the sort of thing you'd like to foist on a young woman, shall we? I see. And okay to foist upon a man's, of course. Quite. And I've no doubt you'd be up to the challenge yourself. With this name on here, there is a good chance it will cause problems. I'm sure I could handle them. <laughs> this isn't all about you, I'm afraid. There could be problems for everyone. Clara was close with Molly Shannon, wasn't she? The one suspected of being a communist spy. She wasn't charged. How close they were is the real question. Clara joined Molly on that anti-British protest march, I hear. People are saying Clara's a spy now. Nobody's saying anything. Nobody's started digging. Yet. A lot of people, very important people, believe you are either with this country or against it. Some of the benefactors of this college, for example. My father used to call this university one of the greatest contributions Britain has made to the world. I would agree with that. Wouldn't you? One of the greatest? Really? Well, it, it does some great work. It does. I'd hate to be the one to undermine it. The affair with this Cambridge Four business has been bad enough. <laughs> we can't change the past, Peter. But we can learn from it. Before we fool ourselves into remembering it too kindly. Now with this name on here, and the associations one might make. You see what I'm saying? I see but I really think her name should stay. Good God, Peter, I am trying to make you understand something. <laughs> this is precisely the way the rot sets in. It's the slow knife. <sighs> Members of this university were recruited to spy for the Soviet Union 10 years ago. Now, members of this university are demanding we lay down our weapons the only defense we have against the very same foreign power. What happens in 10 years' time? And what happens to the integrity of this college in 10 years? If you share your work on a whim with a girl you've taken a fancy to, and what happens 10 years after that? One cannot survive by making oneself That is why this university is still here. That is why I am still here.
I hope you understand how much I care about your success. It's so common for work to fade into obscurity after it's published. It would be a shame if yours were denied my full-throated support, especially after so many years. I've spent years working on this. I cannot make your decisions for you. By all means, publish with Clara as a co-author if you're feeling generous, but if you do, you'll have to take your chances. It would be difficult for me to bring to bear any influence I have. By way of illustration, I have an address in Whitehall to give you. Thank you. I'm afraid I can't tell you much more now, but he's a good man. Cambridge man. And you may find there's one more reason to leave Clara out of things. I'm sure things will become clear soon. I think you've made things very clear. Well, let me know what you decide. Just knock any time. My door is always open. Smoke. Someone's there. Peter, marvelous to see you. You have come at the right time. England of 37 before. Terrible state of affairs. Anyway, you said you wanted to see me about something? Something you wanted to let me know. Clara came up with a good idea too. And I managed to be there. What? What did I say? I respect your decision. 
I do know I read, but who said I'm not? Dr. Hamilton, Peter, how do you do? So good to meet you. How do you do? Excuse me, I won't be a moment. Still three o'clock, yes? Oh, no, no need to reschedule. This won't take long. It should be very quick. Right then, please do take a seat. Delighted you could make it to London. I do hope you get the time to enjoy it a little, too, considering how busy you've been recently. Thank you. I'll, uh, I'll try to. Good, do. Anyway, I imagine you're wondering why we asked you here. Well, it can't have surprised you that your field of study has been of increasing interest to us, especially since the war. Oh, you're, you're, you're interested in climatology? Oh, of course. The paper is going very well, I hear. Well, it is now, thank you. Oh, yes, your professor, John Hargreaves, passed us a copy. And it's impressive, the amount of information you've managed to gather. Although I imagine the process of gathering it was rather difficult on your limited budget. I, uh, I had some help. Oh, yes. We, uh, we heard about that. As I said, we were most impressed and wanted to make you an offer. A uh, reward, even. What, what kind of offer? Well, you've no doubt taken your budget to its limits by now. What would you say if I could guarantee you a practically unlimited budget for further study? Ensure you had the best equipment, like the Americans. Take you right to the heart of things. The, the heart of things? I believe you traced the source of the radiation back to Antarctica, didn't you? Well, well it was um, me and, and someone else. I see. Well, whatever the details, I'd say that warrants further study on location, wouldn't you? It does. I'm glad you agree. We could place you with the Falkland Islands Dependency Survey working in Antarctica. Scientist bods. Happy amateurs. Very passionate, like yourself. Of course, you'd probably have to sort a few things out with the other name we saw on the paper before you go. I hope that wouldn't be too difficult, considering what's on offer. Uh, the other name, um, Clara, you mean? Uh, lovely name. Probably for the best, she wouldn't be able to go. Oh, not my say-so, I'm afraid. It's run a bit like the army down there. No women allowed. I, uh, I'm, I'm not sure I like the idea. I can assure you this is bigger than any one person. Bigger than two people, you mean? I see. Well, you signed those papers on your way in earlier, so I'm at liberty to tell you a little more. Things in the Antarctic, they've been a little strained recently. Lots of vested interests, territorial claims overlapping. Some sides wanting to secure the resources under the ground. Now, this kind of thing has been going on for decades, of course. W what kind of thing? Oh, the Germans were flying over there, dropping swastikas in big circles, before the war, that is. All a bit ridiculous, really. Now, I'm afraid it's the Soviets we've got to contend with. Bit of a royal mess, if you ask me. Still, we're trying to work with them. Work with them? May I ask how? You may. It should all be in everyone's interest, you see. 
Every country signed up to something called the Antarctic Treaty, all a rather clever bit of politicking that happened behind the scenes a few years ago, set up to ensure that Antarctica is used for strictly peaceful purposes. No weapons are to be used. No one can make any future claims on the land. Now, if it sticks, everyone will be frightfully happy, every side content that they've staked their claim. No more aggression, let's say. Sounds impossible. Not impossible, just difficult. We've managed to placate the Soviets so far. This is all strictly confidential, but the sounds coming from Whitehall are not good. We're rather worried that it might all fall through. I'm sure you are, but how does this affect me? Well, in addition to the climate science you'd be able to do, tracking the radiation in the clouds and so forth, we'd like you to inform us of any other sources of radiation out there, what the readings are. If there are any bombs being set off on the continent, it's important that we know as much as we can about them. We don't know what the Soviets might do next. You'd be using the very best equipment, as I said, useful for your career, useful for us. This is still climate science, yes? Absolutely right. The less we're involved, the better, really. But as I say, if you can help us in this small way, it would certainly help that career of yours. How can you help, if you don't mind me asking? Well, after speaking with a few people, Professor Hargreaves, for example, I'm sure that whatever your academic ambitions, after working on something as important as this, you'd have no trouble progressing. And if nothing else, think of the adventure of it. What a reward it would be for all your hard work. What do you think? Y you want me to decide now? Oh, not straight away, but time is rather tight. We'd need an answer soon. Sorry, I've got a meeting in Westminster in 20 minutes. We'll have to cut this short. It's been very good to meet you. Do let me know. And if this Clara thing feels like a sticking point, all I can say is sometimes we all have to answer to something greater than ourselves. Why not think of it as an opportunity for you and to do what's right? What's right? I'm sure you understand. Women come and go. This is for your country.
about? Well, cowboys, of course. I mean, I might have enjoyed it if I was a ten-year-old boy, but it was just boys and their toys again. Is that a bad thing? They're presenting themselves as if they're heroes instead of the land grabbers they actually were. Think of it as a bit of harmless escapism, that's all. I know what you're about to see, that they were just men testing themselves against the world. I do hear where you're coming from. Fine, I'll stop it now. And another thing, where were all the women? I can't have won, she was a cook. It was only supposed to be a bit of fun. I'm only teasing, I, I do see what you mean, really. It's depressing. <sighs> Just turn the radio on, would you? <clears throat> of course. Not getting much. The Prime Minister has urged for calm after news from Washington emerged tonight that the Antarctic Treaty is on the brink of falling through. Neither Britain, the United States, nor Soviet Russia could reach a deal. And, in an increasingly nervous political atmosphere, there is now the risk that there will be no agreement to stop any act of aggression in Antarctica. 
After pinning the blame firmly on what he called Russia's continuing aggression, the Prime Minister warned that the next steps are far from clear, and that in this climate of mistrust, the world needed to stay vigilant. It remains to be seen who will make the next move. Hit the engine! You've hit the engine! What are you what have you done? It's you, mate! Are you out of your mind? Sorry, mate, I thought you were a bloody Russian! Not a bad shot though. I gotta catch us a gull for our tea. You hit the vehicle! The engine's dead! You satisfied with yourself? Never felt better. Took the last of those painkillers and a drop of whiskey sorted me right out. I thought I'd go for a walk. You found whiskey? I had that all along. Save it for special occasions. Birthdays, Christmas, crashing in the middle of bloody nowhere. Is the radio on? Ah, oh, yeah, had to get away from those beefs. Better out here. Why didn't you just turn it off? Why don't you leave me in peace? Can you move yourself? I'd rather stay out here, mate. Fine. I'll leave you to freeze to death, shall I? Come on. Gave me a scare. Uh, I don't know what was going through my head. Uh, that bloody noise on the radio was driving me mad. You know there's a, a Russian voice that appears on that channel once in a while? Really? Yeah, sounded urgent, whatever it was. Uh, same phrase over and over. Oh, Jesus, this leg. Do you think the Russians are still out here? Uh, bloody well hope not. Why, why not? We need help. They don't want us here, you know. Why the hell should they save us, eh? I don't know. Whatever you found out there, you weren't supposed to see it. If you think some Soviet's gonna be happy to see you get out of here alive, you've got another thing coming. And personally, if I saw one out here, I'd make sure he didn't make it home either. Before he did the same to me. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Uh, we picked up a distress call from this frequency. Uh, can you hear me? Over. Yes, 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 I can hear you. You're very faint. Uh, can you tell me your position? Over. Floyd, what's our position? Uh, 82 degrees south, 19 west. We're at 82 degrees south, 19 west. Hello? Hello, can you, t can you tell me what's happening? Why is everywhere deserted? Over. Now, hold on. What the hell are they doing? Um, it's possible that there's been some sort of radiation leak. The Soviets have been broadcasting a warning signal which might have triggered an evacuation. Uh, we think that your location is within... That's right. We're, we're sending a rescue party out. Hold on tight. Over and out. Wait, wait, don't go. They've gone. Ah, ah, that again. It's too bloody sinister. Turn it off. Ah, oh, 
Well, ain't that a beauty? Rescue? Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, have a little faith, please. They'll come. Oh, I hope so, mate. We're both in line for knighthoods if we make it out, that's for sure. What do you mean? Your government loves to give out honors to failed Antarctic explorers. Otherwise, the whole endeavor would just look nuts. Shackleton, remember him? Marooned most of his men on an island for a year. Oh, no, it can't have been like that. Robert Scott, he got the polar medal, didn't even make it home. Heroic failures. <sighs> just like us. Hey, how does Sir Peter Hamilton sound? Uh, anyway, that's if we make it out. <sighs> Hope they find us before the food runs out. Well, I found you again, didn't I? Yeah. You did, mate. You did. Which reminds me, how did you find the plane again? Oh, dumb luck. No, no, come on, seriously. Well, no, it was lucky. Spotting the flares that you sent up. What's that? I never sent up any flares, mate. Sorry? No, the flare box was empty. Not been checked in years, my guess. Bloody panicked me for a while. Are you saying there's someone else here? Search me. Why don't you take a look out? You see anything? It's too hazy. Wait. There it is. That's not far away. So there is someone else out here. Do you think they're friendly? Chances are, no. We're gonna need more food soon. What are you doing? This is from World War One. What do you believe? Why are you playing with that thing? Here. One bullet left. Why the hell do I need this? We know there's something going on, but we don't know who that could be out there. All I'm saying is, be on your guard. I'm not shooting anyone. Just raise it up when you approach. That's all. Make sure you're the one in charge. If in doubt, make sure you're the one that fires first. There's only one bullet. Just the one. <laughs> you better hope there aren't two of them. So? You gonna wait around here all day then? Are you gonna be all right? My whiskey, mate. I'll be happy as Larry. And... I've got this. So, just keep that gun raised, you'll be fine. Make sure you don't get that knighthood posthumously. Не стреляй! Я друг! Don't shoot! Friend! Who are you? Russian! Uh, engineer! Friend! What are you doing here? I am getting very cold! You? <laughs> Me too! You are right! Peter, marvelous to see you. You've come at the right time. 
England are 37 for four. Terrible state of affairs. Anyway, you said you wanted to see me about something, please. Something you wanted to let me know. There is. All right. Well, have you come to a decision? Clara and I, we, we're too close now. I can't take her off. I must say, I admire you. It takes conviction to stand by a principle like that. As I've always said, your decision. You will be fine. Good. You have a friend. What the hell? Hey, what, what are you doing? Get, get the hell out! This man, he's not in good condition. Jesus. Peter. What have you done to him? Maybe I saved his life for an hour. And now? What, till your band of merry men turn up? We need to leave. Can this plane fly? What? Are you the pilot? Can this plane fly? Peter! Peter, what's going on? Why do you bring this damn Soviet agent in here? I didn't. We need to leave. You can bloody leave. The British are coming for coming. us. Coming? No, no. They're coming, all right. Just not for you. No, no, nobody is coming. You can think what you like. We're staying put, and you, my friend, can get the hell out. I tell you, there's nobody else out there now. We need to move. Oh, who the hell are you? What are you doing? Telling you to piss off. You and however many comrades you have out there. You do not know what is at stake. You do not know anything. We will die here. We need to... We do not have time for this. Now, can this plane fly? It doesn't matter. We just need to wait till our guys arrive. What is it? Uh, is it the engine? We don't need to fly out. If it is the engine, maybe I can fix. How the hell did you get here in the first place? You must already have transport. He's, he's got a vehicle. Yeah, I had one. No fuel. It's true. It stopped in the snow. Well, what happened out there? I... I didn't need to shoot anybody. The man is right. And not feeling very well, I think. Yeah, what's this about a vehicle? I told you, the vehicle is dead. But you have one. I saw it outside. Will it move? Yeah. This man put a bullet through the engine. He's dead. He likes his weapons too much, I see. Here. You have it. So. We need to fly, or we die here. Die here? What's going on out there? Your friends, are they running from something? They are an explosion. They are dropping a nuclear bomb. No, no, you're wrong. Soon. You have radio? You have heard countdown? Beep, beep, like Sputnik? That's, that's a countdown. Yeah, it's just a radiation warning. It is countdown. We do not have long. You... You have heard it getting faster, yes? Yeah, Peter, it was on that frequency when I switched it off. See if you can get it. It is getting faster all the time. The faster it gets, the less time we have. We need to leave. No, they're coming. They said they'd keep broadcasting, so we knew they were on their way. And are they? Peter, turn the dial. Can you hear anything? Uh, hold on. What's going on? There's nothing there. Christ almighty. I am engineer. Maybe I could fix the aircraft if you would tell me what is wrong. Do we just need to pull it out of the snow? Is there damage? Uh, no, no, it's, it's in good shape. I saved the plane, but uh, it's more complicated. 
frozen carburetor. That's my guess. You have a lighter? Something to heat it? Wait. Ah. <clears throat> Here. Then I can fix. Can I help? No, don't worry. If I am careful, it will be enough. Then we're all right. We're saved. Maybe. Maybe we are all saved. Jesus! What is happening? Saved by a Soviet! You think we can trust him now? What else have we got? It doesn't matter where he's from. He might be the only man within a, a, a thousand miles who can fix this aircraft. <laughs> lucky you didn't kill him. Yeah, lucky you couldn't kill him. He's... yes! Well, what is it now? You say you land the plane well, but there's a hole underneath. In the fuel tank. What, what does that mean? Can, can you fix it? Yeah, I yeah. I, I, I can close it up, but that is not the problem. There's no fuel. Can you check again? There is nothing. Oh, Christ. Is there anyone else we can radio? There would be no point. They are all gone. We're screwed, then. Yeah, un unless uh, there is fuel in the wing tanks. Maybe? Not this time. Flying light. Then we are, as you say, screwed. Yeah. Might as well make use of that lighter. Not your usual brand, I would guess. No. Thank you. Seeing as we're all doomed, might as well be mates. Ah. Take it, you don't have any out there anymore. Comrades. No. Why were you alone? I was uh, following everyone as we evacuated. Uh, in the storm, we could not see each other. My vehicle ran out of fuel. I was behind them. They did not see me stop. Uh, maybe they reached the coast before they even realized. They just left you there. I was desperate. I prayed for them to come back, but uh, I knew they wouldn't. The snow covered our tracks, and uh, they had their orders. They wanted to survive. Yeah, they would have been crazy to come back. <laughs> I can't believe it. Well, you have not been so lucky, too. Storm got us both, eh? Well, your English is very good. I take it you're not a spy. This would be very bad spy. <laughs> no, I, I am engineer. And a translator too sometimes. I, I could help translate British and American radar traffic. That makes me think. What were you doing here? All right. In this new spirit of international cooperation, you, you might as well know. I was asked to take this gentleman out to the big British science base down south. He was supposed to be studying there. That right, Peter? Climate science. The, the clouds. Yeah, that's what we told everyone, too. You were doing climate science here as well? No, officially. Unofficially, it uh, was a little more than that. You were studying something else? We were studying you. I am surprised you did not know. You have been studying us. No, I haven't done anything yet. I was meant to be studying climate science. Climate science, yes. Ah, that's all. Maybe it is you who are a spice. Yeah, but it seems you don't know all our secrets just yet. I saw the mine. You? You made it that far. I did. So, you, you saw the base where we lived? 
There was nothing there. Just bunks, nothing more. You lived like that? No, we packed everything up in the big trucks before we left. You, you don't think we really lived like that? You, you must have thought we were animals. Huh. Huh. Well, he did. Hey, I didn't say I changed my mind. Oh, he's been funnier. He's getting drunk. Well, there's not much reason to lay off it now. So what were the rest of you doing out there? We uh, monitored that mine, checked for leaks, monitored for radiation levels. But we monitored other things, too. The clouds? Tell me it was something peaceful, please. No. No, I cannot say it, uh, it was peaceful. Then what? Your bomb chests. Our bomb tests? Yours. No, the British don't test out here. The Antarctic Treaty prevents them. It should prevent the Americans, too. But this does not stop them. Oh, it's interesting what they had told you. Did they tell you to study our bombs? No. I mean, n not in those exact words. Did they tell you you would really be studying your own? Are you suggesting they lied to me? I don't know what they said, but our government... They lied to us. Well, my government wouldn't. Yeah, what... Whatever you think, we know British bombs have been getting too close. Shock waves from one caused the landslide, killed two men. The, the Norwegian base? Yeah, I believe so. We don't test here, seems you do. And each time your bombs uh, go, they, they, they make more places unusable, like the mine. Are you saying that's a, a British bomb that's gonna go off? No. This bomb is Russian, and it will be dropped right over the mine. What? Wait, wait, you destroy your own mine? Yes, the mine is old, they can leave it. But they, they want to destroy it, to uh, keep it a secret. That's insane. Maybe they, they think it is better this way. Better than everyone discovering what they've been up to? Stockpiling uranium, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose so. Surely there'd be some kind of retaliation. Uh, maybe they think uh, they can just say it, it, it is a test. Nah, it sounds bloody risky. The British and the Americans would expose it, surely. What, and risk uh, revealing that they have been breaching the treaty too? They are just as guilty. Ah, it's all just flag-waving. Bullshit, I don't care for it. I'm trying to stay clear of that stuff since the war. Still caught up with me. I also do not care about taking sides. I am tired of their secrets. I just want you to get home. Do you know if there's any way out of this? Why no? Is there's a plane with a bomb on it? And that is what the countdown means. And that's it? We're going to die here. Yes. Can't believe there's no fuel. No fuel. And no escape. getting worse. He's keeping a stiff upper lip about it. I do not understand it. I don't worry, a British thing. <laughs> I did not think uh, my final cigarette would be British. Here. Yeah. Might as well go the whole hog. Not like I'm keeping it for later. Maybe not in your condition.
I don't think he can hear me. When it comes, uh, what do we say? Uh, flash of light? It'll be quick, right? I hope so. Uh, that is disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I wonder where it came from. <sighs> Bottom of the barrel, maybe. <sighs> oh. Oh, he's coming round. Thought you were completely out of it. He said... He said you wonder where it came from. What? Something about barrels. Ah, yeah. So you did hear us. Yeah. Yes, mate, I was talking about barrels. Don't worry yourself. Unless you've seen some barrels full of fuel for this aircraft. I... I've seen barrels. I've seen... What's that? Barrels? What kind? What... what? What color do you paint your aircraft fuel belts? Uh, 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 red, red, red with a, a white stripe. Yeah, I, I've seen them, lots of them. Where? Yeah, the British base, that way. What, you little beauty? Why, why didn't you say? I, 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 I didn't know. I, I didn't know they were for aircraft. How far is the base? I, I, it's not that far. It's, uh, it's walkable. No, we need one. Someone needs to go. To right. Yeah, they, there's only one who can go. What? No, no, he's in no fit state. No, he's fitter than you. You cannot walk. You could go. I have to fix the engine. We may already be too late. Come. We need rope. Hey, wh wh where are you going? We we need to pull the aircraft out of snow first. Come. Do we have the time now? Do we have the choice now? Come. Uh, you, you be careful with my baby. Don't mess up her tail. You count two, three. We pull together after. I'm barricading for you guys. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. That's the bloody stuff! Top work! Good job! Well, give me that. What? We need your sober, you fool! Hey, that's for my leg, mate. I need that! You need to show me engine. And you, we need fuel now. You know which way to go. Towards that red light. So is weather coming in. It, it can come in very fast. You need to be quick. You can do this. We need you to do this. Please. I can do it. We will die if you can't. I, I need to fix engine. If I finish, I come. But you, you are on your own now. Please. Go. Go. Come on. Up. I have to go. You promised.
You lied. Get away from me. Clara, wait. Not now. Clara, come back. It could have been so good, Peter. Well, wait, it, it is good. It's getting published. I'm not talking about the bloody paper, Peter. Christ, us! Well, we, we are good, aren't we? Well, you might be, but I'm not sure I know what's going through your mind anymore. After everything we've done, after you promised, promise you that. Promise you that? What? Ow! Clara! Don't you worry about me, Peter. I'll be fine. <laughs> Going to see your professor, were you? Oh, oh, more fool me. I, d I did go. I should have known you'd always back your little boys club over me. You had no intention of telling him how much I've done. No, no, I, I told him. The word gets out, Peter. I didn't think it at the start, but you're just like the rest of them. You, of all people. Still, that's my fault, I suppose. Fault? No, no, nobody's a fault. I thought you were different. Not introducing yourself as Doctor This or Doctor That when we met. Wait, no, no, I introduced myself as Doctor Hamilton, but that doesn't matter. Did you? And I suppose you didn't run away from my lecture that time. Didn't go on that march together. Don't like two sugars in your bloody tea. It's like when we were talking about living in that red house by the sea. What was so frightening about that? Why the big panic? I, I, I didn't panic. We had a discussion. I don't remember one. Wait, no, you're the one who's wrong. It was the blue house, not the red one. <laughs> Your memory, Peter! I can't even thinking straight. Yes. <sighs> I know what happened. I was there. Perhaps you were miles away again. Are you even here now? Yes. Here, yes, absolutely. Peter! Were you ever here? I'm here now! I'm here. I'm not gonna be fooled by this any longer. Do you actually believe yourself? I, I... I... I don't know. You betrayed me. I'm not forgiving that. I can bloody well promise you that. Peter, marvellous to see you. You've come at the right time. England are 37 for four. Terrible state of affairs. Anyway, you said you wanted to see me about something, please. Something you wanted to let me know. The paper's mine. Uh, I'd like to take Clara's name off. I am pleased. I think you've done the right thing. Come, my friend. Up, up. It is not far. You. You nearly made it. Oh, nearly made it. I was so close. Oh, we can do this together. 
Uh, I, I could have managed. It is better with us both. Take that side. And push. Push. Stay straight. Stay straight. Straight. <laughs> and true. <laughs> straight and true. <laughs> Got it all wrong. Come. Together, come. There is no time. Please. Up. Come. Up. You must get up. Go, go, go. All right. Here goes nothing. You ready to go get that knighthood? Go, go, go. Here we go. We can turn it around and go back. It could be ours, though. This beautiful thing, if you wanted it to be. Come here. Last. What? The rain. Want to go back? You go. I'd like to stay a while. Are you sure? You know what you've got to do? You know the way? I'll find it. Well, okay then. You take care. I wouldn't want to lose you now. Bye then. Bye. 